Tell me nothing. Made it through the rain, the rain. I turn nothing into something. No more dealing with their assumptions. Cause I do what I gotta do and I know. Uh, uh, oh, can't nobody do it like me. All they do is judge me for who I might be. Maybe if they took some time to pick my mind, you see that I'm cooler than the mix of nice tea. Uh. All I wanna do is live it up with the homies. Everybody really talking as if they know me. But I guess I gotta. How's the uh, music levels, everyone in chat? And hi, everyone in chat. I just thought I'd quickly say hello. Um, you guys are already liking the stream, so I don't even need to say that. So thank you for that. But how is the audio levels in terms of the music, especially with my voice? Is it too loud, too quiet? Would you like it turned up, down? Let me know, because I obviously want you to be able to hear me throughout the stream, and I could obviously make it quieter throughout the stream. But just for now, you digging it? You liking the music? Something a little bit different? Hopefully all good. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys in like a couple of minutes because I'm just going to get a drink. Everyone's saying it's all good, so appreciate that, boys and girls.
remember the drugs and I always have to think twice if my teeth don't have no legs I will never forget this black on Colette in the apron of my wife we were both in high school I thought I was cool oh when I was falling for you you keep drawing I'm just like jamming out to this music. I mean, it's pretty, pretty hype. Brand new sort of like tunes that are apparently not copyrighted. So if you don't see this video when it goes live, it's because they're not not copyrighted. And I got, I got bu bummed. <laughs> Let's turn it down just a bit. So, so hopefully you can still hear me. Hopefully it all, you know, should I do the old phone trick? Like go on the old phone, Aruni, and see if this all works. No, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You guys will tell me. You guys will tell me if you can hear me or if the music needs to be turned loud or down or something like that. You guys will tell me, won't you? You're not going to fuck with me, are you? Be honest with me. Keep it 100. Yeah. Right? We hear you. Sounds fine. Okay, good. So as long as you can hear some bit of music in the background, it's not too overpowering. Hopefully that all sounds good. Um... Have faith in yourself. I do not, Roy. I do not. Um, so, guys, as you can tell, can't hear the music. Okay, let's turn the music up just a little bit. Just so, you know, there's something happening in the background. Um, but, yeah, so what's... There's a few things to talk about on this stream. There's quite a lot to go through on this stream, as you can see from the title. Um, some people might have got confused um, about who was going to be on the show today. Um, it is just going to be me, and it is going to be me talking about some topics, with obviously that being in the title. Quite a few topics, not even just the title, there's obviously a few other things I want to talk about as well. A whole load to get through, a whole load of updates, um, not just from myself, but from other reviewers as well, as you can tell from the title. So yeah, we've got a lot going on today's show. I've also tweaked a few things now, so if you are going to become a member of the stream... Uh, why do I do this without preparing anything? Test member? Boom! You can see that up there it says you've become a member. Um, the super chat is still the super chat, which is up here. $90, Rob. Wow, you're generous. Um, and also subscriber. If you are new to being a subscriber, you get that bad boy down there. Now, what I will do... Um, oh. Oh, so that's how you do... Okay, so you can do giveaways. Interesting, because that was going to be one of my topics, as I was going to see about having giveaways. Interesting. So that is possible. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run through some people in chat, because you guys are big D motherfuckers. Okay? You're the real OGs. I'm going to crack open... A drink. I'm not sponsored or anything. Imagine if I was though. Jesus Christ, that'd be quite a flex. You know, imagine that. Be madness. Um, what I will actually do while we start, while I'm just absolutely terrible at stuff, um, I'm gonna plug myself because this is my stream. Um, I think you guys are smart, intelligent, beautiful people, and I'm gonna plug a bit of myself. So if people didn't know, the EC Click Awards are a thing right now. They're a thing. Um, I'm in them. I'm in the awards. This is madness. I've been voted for potentially the best UK reviewer. Insane. Madness. And you guys can vote for me to be the best or one of the best UK reviewers. So if you haven't voted yet, please 
please go vote for me, UK Vapester. Click the link in the description right uh, in the description in the comments right now. Go right down all the way to the bottom-ish. Um, you'll see UK best UK reviewer or YouTuber. Click on UK Vapester. Boom. Do that. Never guess, never have guessed UK Vapester. Yeah, yeah. I'm the UK Vapester. I know it's a shocker. Look, people aren't ready for that. But yes, I am the UK Vapester. And if you could vote for me, it would just make my day. It really, really would. Um, we've currently we were at like fifth. We've gone down to sixth. And I say we because this is a community channel. You guys are as part of this channel just as much as me. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, if you could vote for me, that'd be amazing. Um, obviously, if you have already voted for your favourite reviewer, that's obviously okay as well. But if you haven't yet, make sure to slip that guy in. So, well, how do we start this? How do we start this stream? Because we've got we've got stuff to talk about TVP about. We've got Flat Cat Vapor. We've also got a little bit to talk about the Devil Vapor. Um, we've also got things about my channel to talk about, which is madness. Um, absolute madness. So, let's start with what I'm vaping on, Okay. I'll do that, and then I'll give some shout-outs. Everyone cool with that? You cool with that? You cool with that? You cool with that? We're all cool with that. Perfect. So if you guys do want a shout-out, make sure to say, Hey Rob, or what up Rob, or how's it hanging my G in chat? Something like that. Or even let me know what you're vaping on. That's usually better. Let me know what you're vaping on. Uh, we did a little segment uh, last week where you guys tweeted at me. You sent me a little tweet on the old Twitters of what your setup is, what you're vaping on. Uh, if you guys want to do that, you guys want to tweet at me, at UK Vapester, down there. There's the old uh, thingy. Make sure to do so, and also I'll put what you're vaping on, your setup, on the stream, on the live stream. It's madness. No one else is doing this. It's crazy. Paving the way. Also, if you could like the stream, that would be very much appreciated as well. So... The first thing to talk about is what we're vaping on. So, I'm still vaping on. I'm going to do the things I'm still vaping on which aren't new. Firstly, is the Hitter from Asvape. This bad boy. Um, yeah, still loving it. Absolutely loving it. In the review, I said I really liked it and yeah, I still do. Uh, what else are we vaping on? Um, we have got in which is new. This is called the Nfix Mate. All right, mate. From Smock, the Nfix Mate. As you can see, little pod sort of guy. Same as the Nfix sort of pods, but obviously with a bigger battery. We also have a screen now, adjustable wattage. Nfix Mate. I've got mine in this green. I've also got another color. And what's really just odd about this entirely? Is um, it's got a lanyard, you know, basically all the cool kids have lanyards, all the cool kids. But not only that, they've taken it a step further and they have this little rubber cap, if I can show you this. It's a little rubber cap that obviously attaches to the, uh, the device, which you can just put on. So it's kind of like waterproof, but it's not waterproof. It's more of just dust resistant for the pot. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I used this maybe once and then it got annoying. Let me know in the comments, in chat right now, would you ever use this? Or have you used something like this? I know other manufacturers use things like this. So let me know, is this something that you'll use? Not me, not me, but teach their own. But yeah, that is actually not bad. I'm using the lanyard just because... Why not? But typically, I really, really wouldn't. We've also got, which I uh, have already reviewed. This is, I want to say the Drag Max. Was this the Max, guys? This is the dual battery pod sort of guy. Was it called the Max? I can't quite remember. Some, I'm pretty sure it's called the Drag, maybe the Drag X or the Drag Max, something like that. Uh, but I've got it with the... What's with the tunage in the background? Just some new music, just to have, like... Just in case I get boring and you guys want to listen to something more entertaining. If it's too loud, let me know. Um, I've got the RTA on there. I'm loving this up. Drag Max. Okay, thank you. I am reading your comments and I will answer all of your questions. Ooh. 
Uh, and also, what is also new, this is called... The Foxy One Mod. This is from Org Vape. Is it going to focus with all this vapor? There we go. This is called the Foxy One Mod. Single battery guy. 21700. What? What? 21700? That's madness. Uh, yeah, and I've. And I'm actually not going to say, because I said this on uh, Instagram and I believe on Twitter. Let me know if you know the tank. This is an RTA. If you know what the RTA is, let me know in the comments right now. Now I keep saying the comments. Maybe if you're re-watching this, you can put it in the comments. But live, what do you think this is, okay? The people who guess it right are the best vapors in all the land, okay? Best vapors in all the land. But I think it's a pretty nice matchy-matchy setup. Oh, yes, that's good. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. So, a few things I want to talk about. Some people are like, I got baited. I got hacked. This is like clickbait. This is madness. I did have the Devil Vapor himself actually message me because I, I do admit it can be a little bit confusing. I did say a lot to, a lot to talk about to, to suggest that we're talking about these subjects rather than these people being on. But on the flip of that, some of these people are actually going to be on the show. So, I mean, it's not completely wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'll talk about all of those in just one second. So, yeah. And also in the description down below, I also elaborated a little bit more to hopefully fix confusion. But I even had the Devil Vapor going, hang on a second, am I on your show this Tuesday? And yeah, it is what it is. So let's give some shout outs in chat. Okay, let's... Um was kind of kick click baity ish Rob. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I mean, does everyone do it? Yeah, everyone does it. Um, do I want people to be in this live stream to see my beautiful face and talk about my beautiful things? Because I think I am entertaining and I think I uh, have some wisdom I could impart. Maybe. Might not be the best, but still, I'm going to try and give you one of the best live vaping shows on YouTube. Done low. You know how it is. You know how it goes. So, let's shout out a few people. We've got Sean Kingham. Okay, I want to say Kingsome so bad. Uh, we've also got Nick McMinn. Uh, massive shout out to you because you are one of my members. Let's do some like, dabbing on you guys. Uh, we, of course, have Gareth who's doing things and bits and bobs and he is going to come. We've also got James. We've also got Patrick. We've got Chris. We've got Hooked on Funk. We've got Rufus, of course. We've got the Amateur Vape... We've got the Amateur Vapor UK. Massive shout out to Craig. He is a brand new UK reviewer. So if you guys are interested in someone new to the scene, um, a new vape reviewer, just want to go check them out, go share some love. That is the Amateur Vapor UK. He's got a few reviews on there. I think he's got like three reviews already. Um, also, I sent him out a bunch of stuff. So I do think he's going to review the stuff I sent him. So go check him out. Go check out what it's all about. We've also got Manic. Um, we've got... Uh, ba -ba -ba, sorry, the chat's moving. Uh, we've got Deborah, of course, we've got Deborah. We've also got Jackson Vape Reviewers. <laughs> Not reviewers, reviews. Jackson Vape Reviews. He's also a new reviewer, and I think he's got like seven videos out. So once again, sharing some love. If you guys want to check out a new reviewer on the scene, he might be more your style. You might like what he has to say. Go check him out as well. We obviously, of course, support people over here. That's what it's all about, sharing the love. Roy's Reviews, once again, a review. If you want to go check him out, go check out Roy's Reviews. He's more of a veteran, though. He ain't no new reviewer. He's been about. Uh, we've got Chris, of course. Um, uh, we've got Edward. We've got Jay Jarry. How's it going, my friend? We've got Chadwick. Uh, we've got Andy. We've got Bob. We've got MF Ape. I mean, that guy is just a sexy beast. Okay, we've also got Derek. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. Phil, we've got Phil, I don't know, I feel like I'm repeating people now. Uh, we've also got David Tuke, how's it going, my friend? Um, there's so much happening right now. I never baited Rob's click. Okay. Oh, of course, MF Aper is, like, I don't even feel like I need to say MF Aper is a reviewer. He is a reviewer. I mean, like, everyone knows who MF Aper is, so, yeah. I mean, if you haven't subbed to him, make sure to sub to him. I mean, he's an absolute G unit. 
Um, have people added me on Twitter? Let's go check Twitter because, like I said, if you guys have a build you want to show off, make sure you go do so. Okay, go show it off on your Twitter and you can just at me. Um, yeah, do all that stuff. Let's get this going. Let's get this moving. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about that's to do with the channel, to do with the stream and what that. I always shout you out without fail. Thank you, bud. Of course, I'm going to shout you out as well. Of course, I'm going to shout out Mike MFA. Go make sure to go sub to him. He's an absolute bro, along with, of course, Roy. You know. Thanks for the afterthought, though. I just shouted you out. This is the start of my stream. I can't even get any earlier. Madness. Mm. Unicron's Hole, of course, shouting you out as well. Just because I didn't think I said your name, but I see you're there. Anyways, so, first thing we're going to talk about is we've had, okay, um, let's say issues with customs, that's, that's maybe something, uh, you, other reviewers, they will, uh, they will know about the issues with customs, um, so I recently was sent some products, okay, the item list had the total value of $12, $12, dollar sign, one, two, can you guess what the customs charge was for $12? Let me know in chat right now. Okay? Let me know there in chat. Yeah, the U UPS is so bad for that. 60 quid manic saying, that is a lot for $12. But you're wrong. 65, wrong. 50, wrong. 20, wrong. Okay, people are saying pounds, bucks. Nine pound plus, Gareth. I wish, bud. I wish. This isn't Batman's juice. This is this is for a mod. It's for a mod, uh, like a pod mod. So twelve dollars, forty quid. It was. Everyone's wrong, by the way. It was a hundred and ten pounds. Okay, a hundred and ten pounds. I have the bit of paper to prove this as well because you guys might be like Rob. You might be like Rob. You're bullshitting me. GBP, a hundred and ten pounds, forty pence, and that is for twelve dollars. That's roughly one thousand five hundred percent increase. That's what I'm being taxed right now. Roughly one thousand five hundred percent. So, yeah, this this is my butthole. <laughs> this is UPS and customs. Gah! Yeah. Wow. We guys, wow we. Um, so if that doesn't get reviewed, you understand why. How is how is this a thing? How is this a thing? It doesn't make sense. Twelve dollars to one hundred and ten pounds. That's just yeah, mad. No, I did not pay it. This is why I thought, did customs misread that as 1,200? They must have, Rufus. I mean, Jesus. I mean, I've been effed over the years. I've been absolutely effed over the years, but this is new level. That is probably the lowest price for the highest um, t uh, duty I've ever seen. Madness. Madness. Okay? So, that is what it is. What's really weird is I'm being sent something because... Um, What's crazy about this whole thing is I'm obviously sent a lot, okay? Over the years, over five years, I've even come to know the delivery guys because they come so frequently. I, I get at least a delivery a week, usually a couple of deliveries a week. This is not me bragging or anything. This is me just genuinely telling you how it is. And I can say safely say, yeah, you get four quid, you get five quid, you get ten quid, you know, every now and again through some deliveries. I obviously just pay that because that's just the cost of being a reviewer. Um, it is what it is. But when you get something like this, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's madness. That's madness. Anywho, enough about that. Let's talk about the positives of the channel. Okay. Oh, well, I've messaged them. Trust me, daddy. I've messaged them to say it's a mistake. But let's talk about the positives. Firstly, we've got 40 people watching right now. 41. We've got 24 likes. What's this about? Secondly, if people want to, anyone new, wants to vote for me as UK Best Reviewer, please do so. I love you very much. So, 
What do I want to talk about? I've lost my train of thought. Go vote for me, Easy Click Awards. Uh, UPS. Oh, my channel. Good news. So, a milestone we've gone over recently is hitting 1.5 million views on the channel. 1.5 million views. Um, so that's just insane. 1.5 million views. I've had a like 1 million 500 thousand people watch my videos. That's just. Thank you guys so much. That milestone is just incredible. Another milestone which we're going to hit probably soon? I don't know why my voice went so high. Is that a question? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, is we are so close to 6,000 subscribers. 6,000 of you guys. Come on. That's mad. I'm so proud of that. I am so, so proud of that. Nearly 6,000 subscribers. I'm really hoping... Yeah, they were... That many was myself, granted. But, yeah, we're nearly 6,000 subscribers. So, massive thank you to all of my subscribers. Everyone who's helped me, you know, along the way, just by viewing, just by liking, just by sharing, all of that stuff. Um, unbelievable. Oh, MF, give it a rest, love. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And I'll explain it. So, and I'll explain it in the title and description. So go fuck yourself, yeah. I'm one of the 6,000. Nice to see that quick. Lovely to see that you are one of my 6,000 or going to be 6,000. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to congratulate you there. But yeah, honestly, that is, um, yeah, mad. 6,000 people, that's crazy. So I was hoping to hit that by the end of the year. We are on track to hit 6,000 by the end of the year. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Let's get there. Let's get to 6,000. Unbelievable. So, yes. And also another thing that I want to talk about while we are talking about me. There might be some changes soon. This might be going. I don't know how I feel about that, just because even my first video on YouTube, my first video, has Marvel in the background. Has a Marvel sword background. This is obviously my Marvel background that I've had for like a year now as well. Um, it might be time for it to go. I might need to get rid of it all, paint it like grey, have a couple of shelves, display some mods maybe on it, something like that. Yeah. So, we'll see. So, let's talk about some of the subjects I wanted to talk about. So, I like Marvel. Who doesn't like Marvel? It's like one of the most popular franchises ever. Madness. I will try and do maybe a memento in the background. If I do, like, shelves. Like, obviously have, like, a shelf here. And, like, a shelf, like, here. And maybe some mods and stuff. I don't know. Maybe some lights. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't really thought about it too much. It's something that's really like, yeah. Switch up and go DC. Ooh, shit, son. I'm not massive on DC. Superman, yeah. Batman, hells to the yeah. Um, not really a fan of too much else, really, to be honest with you, DC-wise. Okay, just how it is. Anyways, let's talk about the subjects I want to talk about. Let's, let's start with flat cap vapor. So the reason I want to talk about some of these subjects is Star Wars. Oh, shit, son. That's genuinely something. I, I'm a big fan of Star Wars. Everyone goes on about Wonder Woman. And I, I don't want to be this guy. But yeah, she's very attractive. But not really like... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Not, I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's a good, good looking girl. But I don't, know, I don't know what everyone's going mad about her about. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. Anywho's, Flat Cat Vapor, fellow UK vape reviewer. Uh, the reason I want to talk about him and some other reviewers is just because there's some interesting news that's been in the works. Mandalorian. Love the Mandalorian. Love the Mandalorian, especially the new episode. Oh, I don't want to give it away. If no one's watching the Mandalorian yet, do it. What a fantastic series on Disney+. Plus. Really well done. The budget on that... <laughs> the budget on that series is in, must be insane. Must be literally millions an episode. Millions an episode. Just, just insane. Really, really good. Loving it. Anywho's, moving on. Flat Cat Vapor, fellow UK reviewer, 
Um, the reason I want to talk about him and a few others is just because there's been some news, there's been some things that have happened. Um, and I don't really talk about necessarily these changes, but I might address it later on. And I think it's just interesting. And if you guys aren't part of that news, I think this might be an interesting place to catch up. Not gossip and of course not shit talking or anything like that. Um, there's no drama or anything like that. This is simply just going to be updating you on some news you might not know about. It might be interesting, might not. It might relate to the channel, it might not. So firstly with Flapcat Vapor, the news is, is he's stepping down from all vape live shows. Okay, so he was on quite a few. I'm not gonna lie, he was on quite a few. It even became a bit of a joke to how many he was on because it was almost like every live show, you're like, yeah, Flat Cat Vapor's gonna be on it. Because that guy was just work, 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 work. He was Rihanna on that bish, okay? He was just singing, dancing, and just making his way through every vape scene, every live show you can imagine. And the news is he stepped down. And he's, uh, he's going to focus on his channel, which is obviously a good thing, but yeah. Um, so, so yeah, he's, he's going to not do any live shows. So he was on the UK Vape Show, which is obviously massive, massive show. He stepped down from that. He was on Three Men and the Vape Show, um, Saturday Night Live as well. Sat not Saturday Night Live, Saturday Vape Away, whatever that show was called. I say it was called, it's still going. And obviously, if you guys want to go check it out, please do so. Um... Loads of big shows, and he was on some of the biggest shows, you know, um, and it's quite a big step down because he was quite a key member of those shows. So, really interesting news. So, why has this come about? Two massives. I feel like I'm missing chat. I don't, I, I feel like people are like missing. It's vape stalkers. Oh no. You posted to me and people have followed. Oh, okay. Ooh! I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. We're going to stop. So, yeah, to be honest, it's something that I saw coming. Only, not because, like, I'm some, like, amazing magician or anything. Um, it's simply just because you're going to get burnout. You're just going to get burnout because when you're on that many live shows or you're doing that much, it's always going to happen where... Do you know what I mean? Vaping is a hobby, especially for a lot of people. And as a vape reviewer, guys, I can't even tell you how much time is being taken up just being a vape reviewer. It's just insane. Um, and it, being on that many live shows, you know, even though it's only a couple of hours here and there, if you're on that many, your time is just sucked up. It's madness. But let's quickly just talk about these two absolute units. And look at the setup behind him. Tukey, mate. I can't even express how jealous I am. I'm not gonna lie, Deadpool, super fucking jealous of. That mod. Is that the Ragnar on top? They're both Steam Crave. I can tell both tanks are Steam Crave. I'm not really sure what the right hand side one is on top of, but mate. Whew. Absolute beauties. Look at those beauties. And if you guys once again want to have. Um, no, not the intro. And if you guys also want to have your stuff shouted out on screen, let me know. Just tweet at me and mate, boom. I got issues, mate. Oh, mate, that's that collection is sick. I'm not even gonna lie. Love it. So yeah, so what I want to say about flat cap is I saw it coming. Um, when you're on that many shows, your YouTube just takes up enough time as it is, but when you're also doing lives and that many lives, you're going to get burnt out eventually. He lasted a really long time. He did such a good job on those lives as well. So I want to give him such credit and such kudos. Um, I'm, I'm personally a big fan of Flap Cat Vapor, guys. I'm personally a massive fan of him. Um, and I, I love the work he does. I love what he does on the lives. So, um, yeah, so massive shout out. It's a shame to he's going to be lost from the live shows. Not that I necessarily watch all of them all the time, all the way through. But when I do catch them, I do like... Gaz's presence on those shows. So it's going to be a big loss. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. I will be slightly betting he might do his own show. He might do his own thing. Because I feel, I feel that's what a lot of people are doing. Obviously, that's what Dean, the Devil Vapor, did. He went and did his own live show. Very successful. Doing absolutely amazing. One of the better live shows on YouTube right now. Absolutely, that is one of my favourite vaping live shows to go watch on a Wednesday at 7. So if you guys aren't watching that yet, make sure to catch it up. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting. And I'll also be very interesting to nab him now. Now he's free, I might be able to get him 
on this show. So that's obviously one of the reasons I have him in the titles because I wanted to talk about his departure from a bunch of lives and also just throw out the suggestion that he could be on this live show. I'm still trying to nab MF Ape. I still need that guy to quit his job, especially on a Tuesday, and we'll try and get him on because he's he's top tier of the list of trying to get people on is uh, Mike MF Ape. So we're going to nab him for sure. I'm going to be very persistent until he just gives in and comes on. Oh, as that well, I I agree. It's best to do your own live shows. So get away from the drama. Just do your own live shows. Um, it's just it's just somewhat easier, especially as there does seem to be not too much that I've known about lately, drama wise. But it is what it is. But let's move on and let's talk about TVP. Okay, the the vaping postman, if that's even what it's going to be called anymore. Um, so there was a few rumors, um, a few things uh, thrown around, speculation, uh, but on Nature Vapes, Mark's Nat Nature Vapes show, uh, it kind of got let slip that he is making a return. Um, so I'm not sure how much I can say, but there's obviously been some speculation. I've spoken to Mark about a few things as well, and it is... I don't obviously say anything that, you know, shouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah, so TVP is going to be making a return, I believe. I'm not confirming anything, but I do believe he's making a return. I do believe it's going to be in the new year as well. So maybe not. So you... Mm, you, might, you might see him before the new year. You might see him before New Year. I'm just going to throw that out there. You might see him before New Year. I'm just going to let that say say that. You make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. But you will hopefully, well, hopefully all of us, I don't even know this, hopefully we'll see more of him in the New Year on his channel, back at what he does, what he does best. The guy's got 20,000 subs. That speaks for itself. That speaks for itself. The guy knows what he's doing. He's, he does a good job at it. Um, obviously, a lot of fans, a lot of fans, um... A lot of love for TVP. So yes, so that is the thing I want to talk about is that he's hopefully going to be making a return. Hopefully we see him just before the new year. Um, but after, we're supposed to be seeing him hopefully. So yeah. So hopefully with that news, you guys would appreciate that. I'm sure you will. We currently have 50 people in chat right now. So once again, I'm just going to quickly say if you haven't yet voted in the ESIG Click Awards, please make sure to vote for me. Um, I'm sure, you know, we're coming to the end and I would really appreciate every single vote. It takes like 30 seconds. You just need to click on the link, um, go all the way down to the bottom, click on UK Vapes, submit the vote. You'll get an email. Just make sure to confirm that email and you're good to go. Would really, really love it if you guys could do that. It would just make my day. It really would. Um, but I'm super, super excited for the return of TVP. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the dynamic's going to be, though, because his departure was... It wasn't, like, purely because of it, but it was roundabout because of drama and, you know, just, like, YouTube taking up a lot of time and just, like, kind of where the industry sort of was, whether... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, by the way, you might have heard from my man. Uh, I've now got, like, text to speak. So you guys, when you do put a comment, it now speaks it. So you guys could have heard what my man said. Okay? How cool is that? And also what randomly happened is the music just paused as soon as that happened, which isn't supposed to happen. Just amazing timing. And my man, Gareth, sending a donation saying, Right, home and here. Uh, put this towards the <laughs> Shing total, uh, not for the UPS charge. Fair enough. Fair enough, but I really do appreciate that. Of course, all your donations, very, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, just just, just a lot happening. But So, we've talked about a couple of things that I obviously wanted to get off uh, and talk about. We've talked about Flat Cat Vapor, we've talked about TVP. Now, to talk about Dean the Devil Vapor himself. So, with everything going to plan... Hopefully everything going to plan. Dean make, made an announcement a couple of days ago that he himself has um, 
he's kind of oh my god talk talk of the devil and he is the devil but he said this himself that he's kind of been focusing on himself almost uh, with just his channel and with his lives he hasn't been in any other live show really since the breakup of like the UK vape show and things like that it's just kind of like ah oh. <laughs> okay I wonder if this is gonna okay I'm not gonna play anything I'm gonna wait for this to come up if it does and hear it I don't know if it will actually because I think I've got like profanity I might have profanity on or off Whatever it's called. Is this going to come up? Hello? Maybe it didn't. It might not have because you've put in a certain word. I'm not sure if people can see it, but I can see what the word is. So... <laughs> Any, anywho's, he's... he's <laughs> Dave, oh, yes? Towards changing the pedo paper. <laughs> it does! Oh, my God. So that's towards changing this bad boy. Really appreciate it, Dave. Really appreciate it, bud. I've totally forgotten. I've totally forgotten what I've even what I was even talking about. That's just cracked me up. That has just cracked me up. Oh, man. Oh, th the devil vapor. Sorry. Sorry. So, Dean, the devil vapor. Um, yeah, basically, after the UK vape show, we just... He went kind of like... Didn't see him on any shows, really. He kind of went off and did his own thing. Um, and yeah, just kind of like stuck at that. Let me, sorry, let me just play some music. I kind of just stuck at that. Um, so massive credit and respect for him to, for doing that. Uh, especially coming away from such a big show. Obviously, understandably, we don't need to go into that. But recently, he put out there that he's going to start making appearances on some live shows again. And so I whoop, whoop, slipped in there really bad. Um... Don't put, uh, yeah, that on Twitter. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we've got another photo from uh, Mr. Took, which I'm going to put on. Because uh, that is madness. That is a madness. And it looks like he's playing Assassin's Creed, maybe. And if you are playing Assassin's Creed, are you playing the newest one? I like, um, I can't remember what it's called. Look at that, girls and boys. Look how many, look how many big mods he's got. Not even just, like, small mods. There's not a pod in sight. He does, this guy doesn't even know what a pod is. He's obviously, uh, playing on a PlayStation 4 like an absolute noob. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a noob, everybody. Let's laugh at him for that. Valhalla, nice. I'm not going to lie, that does look like a pretty sweet game. Um, yeah, crazy setup. Crazy setup. <laughs> nice, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, Zach, sorry, that's what I was basically saying is, yeah, Dean basically took a step from the other um, collaborations because of the drama involved, like exactly like he said in chat, and also for mental health, because like I was saying about... With flat cap, he was on so many, and it's so draining just doing this in general. And to do that many lives as well, it's just way too much. It is honestly just way too much. So that's obviously, you know, stressful for not only mental health, but also on relationships, um, just in terms of, like, work and everything. It's just, it, yeah, it's, it's a lot. So that's the reasons, obviously, we, why we saw less of Dean on other shows. But like I said, the good news is he's in a better space which is obviously fucking amazing like obviously i give the biggest best wishes to dean especially in that regards um me and uh, not to go into too much detail but um me and dean have spoken about mental health in general uh between each other because both of us um have things that we're working through let's put it that way and uh, he, he gave me some advice on what helps him. And yeah, it's just great to see that he's in a better place. And with that great news is that he's going to be on this show. This little guy's show. Uh, which I'm so... Guys, I can't even tell you how fucking hyped I am. Um, and honestly, is not. I don't give a shit about his numbers. I don't give a shit about Dean having like... 
12k? Is he at nearly 12k subs? Something like that. Him being at like 12k subs, anything like that. Couldn't give a shit. I just like Dean's content. And, you know, one of those, you know, sayers of like real recognize real. Dean's a real sort of guy. Um, I like his content. Uh, I've watched him for years now. For years. He's been around um, same time as me. Or maybe a little bit longer than me. Uh, but, you know, obviously, I've, I've, as, as I've come up, I've come up with Dean. Like, we've been basically the same sort of, like, channel in terms of, you know, around the same sort of time. And to have him on my show, to actually, like, finally get a chance of just me and Dean talking the shit out. Uh, look, really looking forward to it. Let's put it that way. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a nice, chill one. Talk about a few things. Yeah, it's just going to be pretty sweet. Tarquin and Dean, yes. So I did think a few of you would like that. And that's obviously why I had Dean's name in uh, in the title, which was quite funny because Dean himself even messaged me to go, are we, are we on? Uh, same time, yeah. So 7 p.m. next Tuesday. Um, so it would be basically 7 to 8. Um, sometimes we might run over, but we'll just see what happens. But yeah, 7 to 8 next Tuesday. Um, and it's going to be very similar to what I did with TVP. So we're going to talk about a few general questions and a few things in general. But also, I'm going to give you guys the chance to ask some questions. Now, I will filter this depending on what the questions are because some people might go a bit too crazy. But I have a Facebook page, which I very rarely use apart from just to post out um, new video stuff. So there's the link. If you go there, I'm not sure if you have to be a member in order to comment. But there is a comment I just posted out an hour ago saying, Dean the Devil Vapor will be on my live show, the Robcast, next Tuesday, this, uh, the 15th. I should have probably put it at 7pm. Um, if you go on there, oh, someone's asked to join. So yeah, maybe I do need to approve people. I'll approve you guys. Um, but if you go there like it leave a comment on what qu what questions you want for dean and i'll if they're appropriate i'll ask them even if they're not i might not i might ask them as well so why not but yeah so make sure to go there become a member if you want to make sure to ask questions i also will put it on a few other plat platforms but for now we're going to stick to this one see how many questions we get and i'll maybe roll out to my other facebook or twitter or instagram just to get a few questions in general um even you can post a comment on this video so once we're done with the live stream if you go down to the bottom post a comment on your question you want for dean we'll get that going Uh. So, also just while I'm talking in general, I sent out a bunch of packages to um, a few people. Uh, Deborah got hers, and I think that's what she's talking about in chat. So, Deborah, I hope you really like everything I sent you. Hopefully, you know it's enough. I'm really worried. I'm really anxious about sending stuff to people because I really want those people to really like and enjoy and use what I send them. Because there's no point, even if it's like a 200 pound mod to a 10 pound pod or whatever it is it doesn't really matter on the value i just want you guys to appreciate and use it so that's what i'm like really nervous about but hopefully you got it and like it oh we've got a few more requests apparently so let's uh invite you people in oh shizzle well, that's just messed that up rut roll cool that should have worked so, yeah see so, if you leave a comment like it do whatever you need to do yeah and my morals and standards are a lot higher than a lot of um, other backstabbing fuckers in the review scene. Woo! Woo! I feel like I've missed something. Jesus Christ. I do appreciate that, though, because if Dean is saying um, his standards are quite high and he's uh, coming on this guy's live stream, I'm going to take that as a good thing? Maybe? Apparently, I've got membership requests. But I don't. I feel like I've added everyone. I don't know why I'm asking everything like a question. Yeah, I think we're up to date. Wowzers, Dean. Well, I'll save that for 2021. Jesus. Unless I'm the backstabber. Shit. If I'm the backstabber, imagine st like Dean coming on my show to expose me. Shit. Guys, I'm going to get exposed next Tuesday. Come watch it. <laughs> I 
No, 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 I mean, exactly. Uh, Dave is also <laughs> said. Oh, shit. But yeah, if I mean, if Dean wants to, I mean, get talk the shit, and I mean talk it fucking truthfully, you guys know I'll keep it fucking 100 and talk it truthfully. So if Dean wants to say some things on my show, he can say some things on my show. Not necessarily about me, obviously. I'd really hate that. I'd, I'd sweat, I'd go red, it'll be madness. But if he wants to, like, you know, say his piece about the review scene in general, obviously that's what the, that's what the platform's for. Oh shit, so you guys are not going to want to miss this then. Next Tuesday, things might happen. I'm just saying. Things might go... Things might come... Things might be said. Nah, I don't want to... I don't have a too much... I don't want to have a drama channel. We'll just... We'll just keep it easy. Say it live much more effective. Oh my god, it's all happened. It's all going down. Uh, also, just while we're shouting out people, I've obviously shouted out a few new people. One of them being the... Amateur Vapor reviews. Is that his name? I can't. I've, I'm so bad of names. So I'm really. I can only apologise. The Amateur Vapor UK, um, who's Craig. I also sent him out a uh, package that had a bunch of stuff in that hopefully he's going to review on his channel. So make sure to go check out the Amateur Vapor UK. Um, I'm. I'm. I think he's going to do an unboxing video and then that after that unboxing video he might do a review on all of the things that I sent him so um, yeah actually I should say this you need to take that with a pinch of salt so if you are watching Craig take that with a pinch of salt because what I sometimes do is I try and put extras in so if there's a box for instance that comes with two coils and I'm given spare coils I will try and put those spare coils in the box as well so you guys get like seven coils um, bear that in mind Bear that in mind. So yeah, I'm indeed. There you go, the amateur Vapor UK. So yeah, Craig, go check him out. Go check out his uh, his. He's got free reviews currently out at the moment. I believe he's going to do an unboxing, and then with that unboxing, he might do even more reviews. So go check out the channel. Go give him a like. Go give him a watch. And obviously, if you enjoy what you see, go give him a sub. Yeah, I did notice that. Okay, good, good. Just because you know, if the box says two coils, then you open it up and it's got like nine. I don't want you to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's madness. Um, I do believe with some of them as well, I put in the extras that you get. So they obviously aren't part of the package. Obviously, like R um, RBA decks, RTA decks, extra coils, uh, things like that. I've tried to throw in as well. As I'm sure you know. I don't know why I'm explaining it. I, I'm over explaining it. I haven't even vaped in such a long time. So I'm going to have a little toot. Mike, couldn't agree more. Like, don't get me wrong, I actually am surprised to see um, a few new reviewers pop up. Okay, it's not just him, there's a few others as well. But, yeah, there's a few new reviewers popped up. I've just shouted out a few of them on this show. Because, especially when... Well, Dean can back me up, and also, MF, you've been in the game a while. I do think me and Dean have been in a, a bit longer than you, but I can't quite remember. Quite possibly, you might even be in longer than us. But... From memory, back in the day, it was such a doggy dog world. I I personally felt this. I felt it was a doggy dog world, and yeah, fucking madness. Uh, now that I'm a little bigger, now I've got like nearly 6k under my belt. I feel like in a position where I could potentially help other people, and I want to do that. You know, because I don't want to be. I don't want people to feel they're in the same situation that I was in. Especially this community can be such a amazing community, such a beautiful community in terms of like the support that we give each other. Just my channel alone, you can see people's names. They have a little icon next to their name. That means they're a YouTube member. That means they're helping support my channel. There's donations we've got into in the chat today. That means they're supporting my channel. I've also got a Patreon as well to those very specific people that want to support the channel in their own special way. So. The community, especially my community, beautiful place, love all you guys, love the support you give me, and obviously if I can then help in any way to support other creators, especially from the beginning of their path, you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Oh, 100% Dean, it's always good to see some fresh blood. 
always good. It's like just from a creative creative standpoint, it's always good because you, as an older reviewer who's done this hundreds of times, done a video hundreds of times, it sometimes is refreshing to see someone else's take on it because you can go, hang on a second, this guy's just done this, and I've been doing it this old-fashioned way for years. Why am I doing that? I can just do it this guy's way. Do you know what I mean? You can pick and choose, tailor what you're making to make it just hopefully better and better and better and learn of people. So if this show ever gets big enough, like, you know, the UK vape show sort of standards, um, not that I'm expecting that to happen at all, if anything, anytime soon. But if that does ever happen, I'd love to do what they have done as get, get in smaller reviewers on the channel and then talk about it. Just right now, I want to make it about me, be a little bit selfish and make it about me, get this show tailored to how I want it. And like I said, I'm trying different things every show. So like this show, it was talking about subjects. We were talking about flap cap, we were talking about TVP, we were talking about the Devil Vapor, and also giving a little shout out and nod to say that he's going to be on the show next week. Um, and I've had games before, I've had other things. I'm also looking at doing prizes as well. Uh, I don't know if I can say stuff like that, but yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I can say prizes. I'm thinking about doing potential like prizes in some sort of fashion on the show as well. Quite a few shows each week, or every other week or whatever, once a month. They'll usually have a giveaway sort of thing. Uh, gift giving ceremony, if you will. Uh, opportunities, if you will. And I thought... Um, yeah, I thought... I would like to do that. But how I'm going to do it initially, in my mind, is out of my own pocket. I don't know how that's really going to work because, uh, yeah, that's going to cost me quite a lot. What I might do, yeah, it's just going to do, do you know what I mean? This game already, customs charges already is costing me a lot of money. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, what I was going to think, prizes to members, yeah? Yeah, true. Uh, Gareth, I was actually really tempted to actually like do something like that. Um, so potentially I'll do something like that and just keep it to members. Because it also might be easier as well to manage. But the way I would like to do it, at least initially, is if you guys... I don't know, is this cheeky? But if I did the prizes but you guys pay postage, I will purchase and get the prizes. But you guys get the postage? Is that asking too much? I don't know. Oh yeah, Dean, I saw your messages on UPS. I didn't want to message because I thought you were obviously asking some people, some other reviewers, so I left it be. But yeah, that's UPS, mate. That's uh, that's for a $12 pod mod. Yeah, $12 pod mod, just £110. Yeah, that's about right. And that's also one of the reasons I can't really afford. But do you think it's too much, yeah, if, you are, if I ask for postage, like, I'll get a prize, uh, pay for the prize, obviously that all of that aspect will be free, it'll just be postage. No, Rob, that's surely that's fair enough. Okay, fine with me. That's fair enough. No, that's fine. Okay, good. Okay, good. I didn't want to be like that guy if I'm like, no, you pay postage and fuck you guys. But, okay, it's good they're on the same boat. Okay, that's good. Exactly. So that is also... Oh, no, I would do... I would find a way that would make it better. Winner pays postage, I think that's fair. Okay, good, good. And also, exactly that, Hooked on Funk. That is exactly one of the reasons, is I could then open it up internationally. You know, I could then do it to the UK audience. Uh, UK audience? <laughs> well, I am in the UK. Oh, shit, spoilers, I'm not. Um, you know, I could open it up to the rest of the world, which I think would please more people. I don't know what song's happening right now. Let's just leave it how it is. But yeah, it would open up to more people. I'll pay for labels. So there you go. Um, I won't tell you why I find that funny. But I'm sure Dell knows why I think that's funny. Um, you know, like, say if you guys do become members, maybe I'll do a member only. Maybe I'll do your subscriber only. Maybe do other stuff and you guys just pay postage. Yeah. Um, so, Chris, yes, 100%. However, um, hmm. I'm trying to think of this because 
the reason, the only reason, the only thing that I would like to send you guys is brand new stuff. Brand new stuff. Obviously, I know some people, if it's a used mod, um, you know, like, say, for instance, this mod without the tank, because obviously the tank is something completely different. Say I have this guy and I don't want it after a review. Obviously, some people would probably wouldn't mind that it's been used because it's effectively still pretty brand new. Uh, maybe that sort of thing I'll be okay with. Uh, things like tanks, used tanks. Uh, I guess you could wash the RTA. Still then, I still don't know how comfortable I'll be just because of the current climate. Simply the current climate. I know obviously you could quarantine the item, you could obviously do some safeguards, and I of course would clean it, I of course would try and make sure to the best of my abilities 100% clean, uh, but obviously stuff like that, uh, nearly new samples. I guess it'll be up to you. I guess I'll get make you guys make the judgement call. I'm, I'm okay with mods and things like that. Uh, I do also get a lot of extras in and new stuff in, like... Just, just an example, like usually Smock and a few other companies um, will send me multiple, multiple stuff and, well, ignore the label. Um, <laughs> and obviously this is brand new sealed. I will open this up for the review to show you everything you get when you buy this from new. And then this is the one that I'm obviously testing, you know. So, I will open this up, the packaging, but it won't actually be used. That, I don't mind sending, because it is basically brand new. So, yeah. Ultrasonic. Yeah, I need to... I was actually looking at buying one at Black Friday, because I found one for £60. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Ultrasonic cleaners, £60. Is that good? Is that too much? It wasn't big. It was quite small. It was maybe like this big. It could, it's probably just bigger than a phone. Um, but £60, I was going to buy it and I wasn't sure if that's a good price or not. Maybe you guys will know. But yes, I'll definitely, definitely do ultrasonic cleaning and everything like that if I could. Yeah, UV rays and all that stuff. But also, you know, wash it with traditional water as well. Uh, I got mine for 20 on Amazon. Fuck, 40. Oh. 3 litre one? Okay, I was getting conned. <laughs> I feel like I was getting conned at that price then. Okay, it's a good job I didn't buy it. Saying the steel one. Ooh. Okay, that's good. A dinky size one for 15. But obviously, that I wouldn't need a big one because you have to think mostly it'll be tanks. And tanks are small. So surely I can get away with that? Uh, mine is half the size of a toaster and I only pay 25 Canadian dollars on Amazon. Okay. Rob. Oh, great name, Rob, by the way. My own's only a little one. Okay, interesting. Um, I'll definitely have to consider that. I'll definitely have to consider that because I, I, I want to do it for my own stuff. Um, also, I've heard it's pretty good for things like jewellery. Not like my jewellery, not like my ring, but like my wife's ring and things like that. I've heard that it's quite good for cleaning like jewellery like that. She does have a special cleaner. Um, for it, but I feel that might be better. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys know better. Uh, yeah, please send me the link, Craig. You don't need a massive one. I had. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God we're all be in some trouble. Uh, it holds six, uh, four to six tanks taken apart. Shit. Well, that's decent, Rob. That's actually a decent size. That's all I'll need. There you go, Phil. Yeah, good enough. Fuck it. That's good enough. Close enough. I'll do my generic. I say generic. Once again, I'm going to spam myself out. I do apologise, guys, but, you know, I, you know, I do want to do the show some justice and at least give myself the best shot I can. And if you guys, once again, haven't yet voted on the best UK vape reviewer, if you could consider me and click on the link... Go right down to the bottom, select UK Vapester as the best UK vape reviewer. Obviously, fill out the rest if you wanted to as well, of course. And then submit it with a valid email because you do need to confirm it. Honestly, it'll just make my day. Well, exactly. It sounds like they were pulling my pounce down for £60. It was, boys, I'm not even kidding you. It was tiny. It was smaller than my phone. Okay. It may be like the same size as my phone and it was like this tool. Like maybe like this tool. So I, I felt like it would have maybe done one tank if I took it apart. So let's go.
Let's do some let's goes. Let's go! UK Vapester. Yeah. But if you guys could vote, honestly. Back while I missed. It was just me groveling for votes, really. Nothing too spectacular. Just me groveling for votes. Oh, okay. So. Oh, gassy. And also, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Please make sure you do because, like I said, I'm getting really, really close to 6,000 subs. Uh, so that would really make my day um, and be absolutely awesome. Get to little Audi Middle O. Uh, Gareth, that's a great fucking idea. That's genuinely a good fucking idea. I didn't know they sell it. Okay. Three litre one as well. That's like huge. That means I could do so many tanks in one go. And especially if I do this giveaway idea, I could do a giveaway, what, like half seven? Maybe something like that, halfway through the stream or near the end. People usually do it near the end, don't they? I'll do it near the end. But, uh, shall I show you? I'm going to show you. So I have a bunch of stuff anyways, which is, um, I call my big bag of crap. A big bag of crap that just has got like so much stuff which is like brand new stuff uh, that I want to do as giveaways already. Um, like, do you know what I mean? Like, still in the box. This is some old school stuff though. You know, premium kit from Coil Art. I don't even know if Coil Art's all around. Um, you know, OFRF gear. Brand new. You know? Um, apparently, I got this guy. You know? The Zenith. So the guy as well. Um, whole bunch of crap. Whole bunch of crap, really. Got some Vaporesso stuff as well. We've also got the Manit sort of stuff as well. We've also got, like, super old school stuff as well. Super old school stuff as well. So, that's the kind of crap I want to give away to you guys. You know? Send you a link, mate. Gone up to 26. So 26 is still a lot less than 60. That I was getting absolutely destroyed over. And like I said, it might be a worthwhile investment. If I do have a bunch of stuff I'm sending out. So. Yes. Okay, boys and girls. I think we are wrapping up to the end of the stream. Because we do have... Um, <laughs> Vape City Reviews, how's it going, brother? Watching from the start. Do watch from the start. Do watch from the start. See, this is what I mean. I want to do a giveaway because I want to give back to especially you guys, my subscribers. Uh, more specifically, maybe to my YouTube members. Um, but I do have the idea of potentially buying some stuff if I'm not given it as well. Especially if, you know, there is the hot new item on the block. If I'm not sent it to a review, I might just buy it and then give it to you guys. But we're going to wrap up the show, guys. Shot, oh, wrap up the show, guys, because Nature Vape Show is coming on after this. Don't want to tread on any toes. I know it's half an hour away, but I need to. I've literally finished work, turned on the camera, so I need to drink, eat, sleep, <laughs> all that lovely stuff. I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed the stream. I really hope you guys uh, watch next week at 7 p.m. with Dean the Devil Vapor because he'll be on. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Hopefully you liked the stream. Hopefully I'll see you guys again. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And most of all, I'll have a bunch of new reviews coming out to you guys soon. So yeah, go check out. Make sure you check them out. Anyways, lovely seeing you. Thank you everyone who's liked the stream. Thank you everyone who's already subscribed. Thank you everyone who's also voted for me in the Easy Click Awards. It means the world. Beautiful guys. And I'll see you later. <laughs>